Well, right now, they've got some action in Montreal. Let's join Merle Harmon and see what's happening in the Montreal game. We're in the top of the eighth inning at Olympic Stadium in Montreal. We had a one-hour and ten-minute rain delay back in the third inning right after Pittsburgh had taken a three-to-nothing lead. Meanwhile, the Expos came back with two runs in the fourth with Tim Raines uh, leading off with a double and then finally scoring on Warren Cromartie single. Chris Spire singled, Bobby Ramos single, and a sack fly by Tim Raines in the fifth inning produced the second run for Montreal this afternoon. Right now in the top of the eighth inning, it is Mike Eastler at the plate. He had a double back in the sixth. Dave Parker has driven in two runs today for the Pittsburgh Pirates and outstanding pitching by Rick Roden and by Bill Gullickson that you're looking at right now. But Roden, after his sixth win of the year, has had fine defensive support this afternoon, both on the infield and in the outfield. It is three to two Pittsburgh in the top of the eighth with Eastler, Thompson, and Pena coming up. Ball is fouled up. Ball two, strike two to Mike Eastler. Talking about the defense behind Roden this afternoon, Ron, here's a sample of it. And here's a gem, a gem of a play. And they're so happy Parker's back in the lineup. Look at that catch. If the ground wasn't wet, Parker couldn't have slid the 60 feet he did to catch that ball. Great defensive play. He knocked in two runs. It's Parker three and the Expos two. And that great catch came in the fourth inning when Montreal was trying to put an inning together, coming up with only one run in that frame. So it is three to two. Pirates were in the top of the eighth inning here in Montreal. The Expos are but a half game behind the St. Louis Cardinals, who are playing in Philadelphia tonight. Chuck Tanner's Pittsburgh Pirates are four games back, but despite numerous injuries, have been playing good ball, particularly this past week. And Mike Eastler has been one of the ringleaders. He has now hit safely in 11 consecutive games with his double today. Wraps one to Scott at second, and the play on to first for the outs, one away. So with one out of the top of the eighth, the Pirates are leading the Expos by a score of three to two. Now back to Joe and Tony in Los Angeles. Action in Montreal. Let's go to Merle Harnon and Ron Luciano up at Olympic Stadium, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Merle Harmon and Ron Luciano, bottom of the ninth inning in Montreal. Montreal has runners at first and second. Two down, pinch hitter Willie Montanez at the plate. It's a 3-2 to two ball game in the Pirates' lead. And Rick Roden has gone all the way for Pittsburgh this afternoon. Pittsburgh leading 3-2, to two, getting all three runs in the third. The Expos came up with a run in the fourth, another in the fifth. Both pitchers, both starting pitchers, have done very well today. Rick Roden going for a sixth straight win without a loss. Bill Gullickson pitching the first seven innings for the Expos. And now pinch hitter Willie Montanez up, up there for Bobby Ramos. He has White at first, Cromartie at second. And Roden can close it out right here. Not quite. Oh, boy, what excitement. I'll tell you, for the bottom of the ninth, you couldn't ask for anything better. Roden, who's pitched a great ball game, and look at the poise out there. He really wants Martinez. Just a second before, Tanner came out and he said, do you want to finish it? And he said, I'm going to finish it. To, uh, it's either one way or the other, and you can watch him right there. He is so beautiful, you can't believe it. It's been a and long that strike. It's been a long day for Rick. He had to sit out over an hour and ten minutes because of a rain delay, but he has gone into the bottom of the ninth inning. He's one ball and two strikes to Willie Martinez, who steps out. Two men aboard, two down, last half of the ninth inning. Pittsburgh three and Montreal two. The Expos are only a half game out in the East, trailing the St. Louis Cardinals by a half, and they play tonight. Up high and away. Ball two and strike two. Dave Parker drove in two runs in the third inning for Pittsburgh, returning to the lineup last night after being out for 12 games. Omar Moreno drove in a run in the third also as Pittsburgh got all three. In the Montreal fourth, Timmy Raines doubled, was singled home by Warren Cromartie. In the fifth, singles by Spire and Ramos, and a sack fly by Tim Raines got the second run home. But they need that third run to stay in the ball game. Two balls, two strikes to Montanez. Got him, and Roden has beaten the Montreal Expos three to two as he racks up his fifth strike out of the afternoon as he nails the pinch hitter Willie Montanez to end this ball game and the Pirates have even this series after losing last night 3-2 they win this afternoon by the same score 
and a happy Rick Roden and a happy Chuck Tanner and a bunch of Pittsburgh Pirates as Roden records his sixth win of the year without a loss and its second complete ball game. Ronnie did quite a job. Uh, and Chuck Tanner's family came through. It was a family effort. We had great defensive play by Parker, and they're so happy to have him back in the lineup. That two, uh, when he hit those two RBIs, he went into that dugout, and he was mobbed. I mean, everybody was up on the bench grabbing hold of him, and Rick Roden, the last bottom of the ninth, when Chuck Tanner came out there, Roden's pushing him back. I don't, I'm not coming out. I'm not coming out. I'm going to finish this game. And Tanner said, all right, we've got men behind you. Just don't walk them. And he did. What a job. The Bucks have been hurt by injuries all year, and of course, it's really great to have a guy like Dave Parker back. Uh, Dave says, hey, I'm a complete ball player. I'll drive in runs. I'll make plays in the outfield. And, uh, of course, everybody knows what he can do with the bat. And you saw right there, he slipped coming out, and we were afraid of the Achilles tendon, but it didn't hurt a bit. Look at it off the wall. Andre, by the time he gets the back, back, uh, back in, there he is. Marino crossing the plate. The ball comes into third. There's Phil Garner crossing it. And that one turned out to be the game-winning hit, as it were, because the Expos came back with two. It was a 3-2 to two finish. Roden the winner. And, of course, the game-winning RBI by one Dave Parker, who, all, who also made a tremendous catch in the outfield. So the Pirates win it here by a score of 3-2. to two. You saw the ending as Roden fanned Willie Montanez with the tying run at second, the potential winning run at first. I'm Merle Herman with Ron Luciano. Let's go back to Joe and Tony in Los Angeles.